Hello again, and welcome to our video on the basics of building factories. This video will just go over the basic steps needed to create a factory. Here we are at the future home of Sam Adams Brewery. Each of the buildable factories, there will be a large lot like this one with nothing on it. And you will find three boxes on the slab and each are for a different phase of the construction project. As we stand here you see this is the foundation stage. The very top one is the stage you're building and the products underneath it are what are needed to complete that stage. So the foundation needs sand, gravel, and cement. The other part of it, construction. For construction we need drywall, boards, and glue. And stock is the products that actually go into the factory when it's built, so we make you build the factory with some of them, which the brewery takes hemp, barley, and water. Let's grab some of the construction process and show you how this works. First we'll bring over the sand, again into the foundation prod, sorry not construction. We'll start with the foundation, we'll put in the sand, now as you can see, and I'll show you in a minute as I turn around, let's get some gravel. Keep my trailers out of the way. Grab our gravel. Everything we bring on the site, if there is some there, there will be indicators and there will be more of them depending on how much is on the building site. So just at a glance you can see we have sand on the building site and I put in some gravel and you see a gravel pile pop up there in the distance. So at a quick glance driving by you could say yep we have enough sand and we have enough gravel but we don't have cement for this project yet. And the more and more products you can really get a pretty filled up slab. I don't know if you saw the tire track marks in the air, but that's because of a mod I used to get everything over here. It instantly transports my vehicles. And lastly we will put in the cement. Let's see, if I get to the left side of the trigger, or right side of the trigger, we might be able to force the cement chute to spin around. There we go. And offload our cement. When the cement mixer has cement in it, it rotates. The cement factory is one of the factories that needs to be built, so it should be a priority. It will need to be built before you can actually use build any of the other factories because all the foundations need cement, and then they'll have a mixture of either two of the three, sand, gravel, and stone, which we get in the quarry, which that video is coming up soon. Now that we have three, one, the, all the products for the foundation in, we'll show you, at the top of every hour, fast forward just a few minutes here, voila, a big switch, you can see we have 6,000 foundation, at the top of every hour something happens on the, and you create points, so we have 6,000 foundation points, foundations indicated that you have points again by the blockades here and there's one floating I need to write a note to fix that but we'll get that done before the release and 
now that the foundation is ready, we'll work on the other two. Here we have the stock products for this factory. Normally it would take hops directly from the hops factory, but it's transported now directly down to here. So therefore, we have to use hemp directly into the stock portion just for building. So if you're familiar with the alpha version, you would take your hemp to hops and props. And then there are new meters that will appear up there, which will allow you to transport your hops directly down into the beer factory. You no longer have to move it by truck. And that was done to eliminate the need to put a fill type in a vehicle. We're able to use the universal process kit by more 2000 to add additional fill types as long as they're not actually ever visible on the map in just a number inside the processor kit so that saves us some room to add some more additional great stuff to the map oh, wrong one go over here and put our barley in I don't know if I already told you, but the cement mixers on the site indicate that you have cement. The little mixers around the site indicate that cement is on the site. And our water. There's an indicator for the other products I just brought over as well, which I will show you in a second. And we'll put our water in. And you can see over there to the left, we'll get a little closer. As our water is filling up, whoops, let's shut it off. Over here, we have the sacks of fine hops from hops and props and barley sacks as well all on the site and now we have is in addition uh, water containers because we have water on the site now the more you put down here the more that will appear when you have construction or f the stock points we'll fast forward an hour and see what appears on the site when we have some stock points. While that's going, we'll get ready to bring in the construction products. And we have, first we have the glue. It goes in the same trailer type as the water. And that comes from making turning wood chips into resin that you can automatically transport to the glue factory. And you can see, now that we've passed the hour, we have some uh, containers that and some crates. That indicates there is some of the uh, stock on the site. And lastly, we got to put in some glue which you can see instantly we have some glue barrels over there in the distance on the right and next we have our national gypsum drywall
We need to have some drywall. Each of these products also has to be made with other products. And I will explain the ratios as well on how these products are figured as soon as we get the rest of this stuff out of the way. Drywall indicator. You see boxes pop up with some drywall inside. Can't leave it out in the rain, so the drywall gets dumped on the surface. There you go. There's a few of them there. And last product needed to build the brewery. is the wood, the boards. Boards go into we get our construction started. And you will see somewhere around here, back by the entrance, there's some boards. And more boards will appear the more you have down here. But for now we have one. Oh, there's another couple stacks right behind the glue. Okay, so now we have all the products we need to start building a factory. Let's fast forward to the top of the hour. And we'll see what indicators we get when we hit the top of the hour to show that the construction process is working. And we have construction points. There's, There it is right there. If you have construction points, you will see the big cranes appear on the construction site. Now we can see that we have points built up in every section of the project. 18,000 foundation points, 6,000 construction, and 12,000 stock. Once you have points built up, you will see a black box out in the front next to the sign. You need to just go and stand in front of it, and you can see our project is now being combining those points into project points, and we just ran out of construction, therefore the cranes do not appear. If we wanted to keep building construction, we would uh, have to bring in whatever materials we need to get more construction points or wait to the top of the hour if we have those materials to get more construction points and then we'll be able to combine them as well. A couple of notes on the factory. You can overstock these products and when the factories are built, the additional products that you overstocked will disappear. So you want to monitor when you get close to 100% of the project. You don't want to have any too much extra products in here. Uh, it takes 1 million uh, project points, so one million each of the foundation, construction, and stock. And this is the breakdown of how these products work. The products are based on a tier system, with sand and gravel being all they require is you digging it, labor, bringing it down here. They're on the first tier, as well as water, just picking up the water, bringing it here. They're easier to acquire products. They require a one-to-one -one ratio. You are at, you will need to bring one million sand, one million gravel over here, and then you will also need one million water to complete the other in the stock part. On tier two, are our crops basically they require a little bit of extra work so they are a four tenths of that one ratio so to build a factory that needs a million normally of the other two products you need 
400,000 of the hemp and you'll need 400,000 of the barley. All the crops work that way. Because, and the final stage, tier three, are your products that are created in factories, such as the drywall boards and glue, and the cement, because they're created in factories. They require uh, 0.2, 2 tenths, so they require 200,000 out of the million of each of those products. To build the factory and that's pretty much the way all the factories work if it comes from another factory it's a two tenths ratio if it's a grown product it's four tenths and if it's just hauled around the map like water sand and gravel which I think are the only three oh and stone then you have to uh, load it up with the full one million and that's pretty much the construction process as you build up points when you hit the 25 percent mark some of the factory will appear at 25 50 and 75 and the factory will be completed at 100 percent and if you want to see an in-depth really uh, go through the whole process that's not what this video is intended for but we do have a two-part video series of watching the whole process of the cement factory being built just check our YouTube site. You can also find the links on our Facebook page. Thanks, and uh, next we will show you what we can do and how to operate each factory, starting with the national, I mean the brewery here. Until then, we'll see you soon.